Welcome back, everybody. So this is just amazing. I don't want to stand in the way. Check out what they did. Virgin Orbit launched its first commercial satellite into space. Uh, you know, so this means a lot. What's next? What does it mean for Virgin Orbit? Well, the CEO is joining us. Dan Hart is joining us right now. Uh, so good morning to you, Dan. How exciting. Good morning. It's a great morning. <laughs> and I first had to rub my eyes like, did this really happen? Uh, so you guys took off yesterday from the Mojave Desert, sent a satellite out into space, and this, it was all, a 747 was involved. Tell us how all of this happened. How do you feel about what you guys just did? Well, ecstatic, first of all. <laughs> uh, I'm so proud of this team. They worked so hard, and it's great to see happy customers with their satellites gently put in orbit. Uh, we are an air launch platform, so we take a rocket up under the wing of a 747, a 747 that used to carry passengers uh, for Virgin Atlantic. Uh, we, we, we turned a, a slab of concrete uh, in the Mojave uh, uh, Airport into a staging area, wow. uh, took off from there and flew out over the Pacific, and yesterday uh, we had a beautiful day. Wow. I mean, watching this footage is mind blowing that you're able to do it. So this used to be a commercial plane and now it's launching satellites. Am I understanding that correctly? That's exactly right. It's the ultimate reuse. <laughs> yes, um, and it's a yes. launch platform that can take, make any airport into a spaceport. Whoa. I mean, a spaceport, I mean, just to, it's, I, my mind is trying to, you know, understand all of this completely, but it's so fascinating what you're able to do. This is your second launch in six months. So tell us how you're able to make this all happen so quickly. Well, I mean, it's, it starts with where I am right here. I'm in Long Beach um, in our factory, which is right by Long Beach Airport, where we have five rockets in flow right now. Um, our next one will launch this fall. So we have a great factory with uh, additive manufacturing to make engines and the high-tech co composite work. Um, and then uh, the rocket comes out of here, drives up, clips onto the airplane, and we're ready to go. Whoa. And these have launched from the Mojave Desert both times? Yes. So okay. far, we've launched uh, both times from Mojave, uh, first on January 17th. And then yesterday, we do plan to launch out of Guam. Okay. We have uh, uh, an agreement with the UK Space Agency to launch out of Cornwall. We're working with the Japanese to, to launch out of Awida and, the, and also out of Brazil. So we plan on actually expanding our operations to be global. And explain how you're doing this. It's for international customers right now. Is that right? Well, it's for, it's for all customers. Okay. It's for commercial space companies, um, civil space like NASA and international space agencies and also the national security community. We had four DOD space test progr uh, program satellites on with us uh, yesterday, oh. as well as a satellite, the first satellite for the Royal Netherlands Air Force and two satellites for a, a commercial Polish company. So we're, we're really serving the whole market. Okay, wait, I was trying to count. How many did you send off yesterday? Seven. <laughs> Seven of them, okay, got it. So the international community, the DOD as well, that's pretty significant. I mean, you are the CEO of Virgin Orbit. This must be just quite a, you know, good feeling that you're able to make this happen. Undescribable. <laughs> um, you know, first of all, I'm just so proud of the team and there's no feeling like seeing a group that has worked so hard and within such intensity go through an event like this, and today, nobody can take the smile off their face. <laughs> yeah, quite an accomplishment. What's the meaning of the mission's name? It's what, Tubular Bells Part One? Tubular Bells, so we're a virgin company. Uh, Richard Branson right. was with us yesterday and had a great time during the launch. Well, Tubular Bells was the very first um, record that Virgin uh, produced uh, uh, for Virgin Records, and oh. so we've decided uh, to name our uh, our missions after great music, and wow. so we'll be doing that as we go forward. You just reminded me that Virgin Orbit, you, that name came from Virgin Records. I did not even put that together. <laughs> An obvious connection, right? <laughs> yes. Tubular Bells Part 1. I love it. Uh, so you said you have obviously other missions planned in other countries. Is that right? Well, we'll have some more here. At yeah. Our next one will be out of Mojave again. Next okay. year, we'll be starting to be moving abroad as well. Okay. Very nice. Where can people go get more information and just to learn more about what you're up to? 
Well, we have our, our website, so virginorbit.com. So just come on board. You can read all about us. Yeah, and the fact that all of this is happening in Long Beach there, right where you are right now, and then driving them out to the desert to send them off into outer space. This is incredible. Dan Hart, thank you so much for being on with us this morning. Well, great talking to you. Have a great day. <laughs> you can feel that excitement that he's feeling. You have a great day, too. Yes, a lot.